Scotland's qualification success for Euro 2024 has given manager Steve Clark the opportunity to elevate the national team to new heights. With back-to-back -back European Championship qualifications, Scotland's Football Association is reaping the financial benefits, allowing Clark to make bold decisions for the team gone are the days when Scotland had to be frugal and settle for less. Clark now has the support of the Scottish Football Association, as evidenced by their agreement to provide a five-star hotel base in Glasgow. The team's recent trip to Turkey was planned in advance, and despite already securing their place in the Euros, there was no change in plans. Clark knows that success on the field diverts attention from the shortcomings of the national sports administrators. As Scotland enters a crucial doubleheader against Norway and France, Clark is aware of the need to keep progressing. While defeat to France may not be disastrous, it does highlight a concerning trend of three consecutive losses for the Scots. Clark's decision to schedule friendlies against top teams like France and England is a strategic move, aimed at preparing the team for the challenges they will face in the Euros. However, the manager recognizes that Scotland still lacks a game-changer in the final third. While the team has talent in midfield and at wing-back, injuries to key players like Andy Robertson and Kieran Tierney have exposed the limited depth of resources. The absence of Angus Gunn in the goalkeeping position is another concern. As competition gets tougher, Clark knows that he needs to find a solution to this problem. Despite these challenges, Scotland remains an attractive proposition for players with Scottish heritage. Clark is confident in his environment and doesn't aggressively pursue players who may qualify for the squad through bloodlines. The likes of Archie Gray and Tino Livermento have been mentioned as potential additions to the team. Harvey Barnes, who was on the verge of declaring for Scotland, suffered a serious foot injury. If he recovers and performs strongly in the March-friendly window, he could still be a valuable asset for the Euros. Scotland's under-21 squad, however, provides limited options for the senior team. Players like Ben Doak have potential, but they need consistent playing time at the first-team level to make an impact. As Scotland looks to avoid being mere participants in the Euros and instead make a mark, Clark aims to return to a winning culture. While the immediate focus is on the upcoming matches, the manager is also assessing the bigger picture. Scotland's success in Germany will depend on their ability to excel against elite opposition and continue their progress under Clark's leadership. So, as Scotland celebrates their qualification success, Steve Clark is already plotting their path to greater achievements. With the support of the Scottish Football Association and a talented squad, Scotland has the potential to make a real impact in Euro 2024.